Psalm 92, a song to be sung on the Sabbath day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening, accompanied by a ten-string instrument, a harp, and the melody of a lyre. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. O Lord, what great works you do, and how deep are your thoughts. Only a simpleton would not know, and only a fool would not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like weeds and evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, will be exalted forever. Your enemies, Lord, will surely perish. All evildoers will be scattered. But you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the defeat of my wicked opponents. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. For they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will still produce fruit. They will remain vital and green. They will declare, the Lord is just. He is my rock. There is no evil in him. Psalm 92 A song to be sung on the Sabbath day. What does flourishing look like? Well, palm trees are known for their long lifespan. To flourish like palm trees means to stand tall and live a long time. Palms of the region familiar to the psalmist are also an excellent source of food, producing dates. The cedars of Lebanon grew to 120 feet in height and up to 30 feet in circumference, so they were solid, strong, and immovable. The psalm writer saw the godly as upright, strong, productive, and unmoved by the winds of circumstance and aging. You are listening to Sunset Praise on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Blessed greetings everyone and happy Sabbath once again and welcome to another edition of Sunset Praise for this Friday, June 30th, 2023. It's the last day of June, I tell you, this year is just flying by. Later on, we will welcome in the new month, July 1st. We are here to uh, praise the Lord for what he has done for us throughout this week, as well as to welcome in another Holy Sabbath day. How was your week, friend? My week wasn't bad. But regardless of how our weeks were, we praise the Lord for bringing us through. Amen. Hence, the purpose of this program, Sunset Praise. We come together every Friday at sunset to thank the Lord, to praise the Lord for bringing us safely through the week for bringing us through our trials and tribulations, whatever we faced this week, the Lord brought us through and we're here 
together once again by his grace to also welcome another Holy Sabbath day. I mentioned just a few moments ago about the cedars of Lebanon. I usually mention the cedars of Lebanon on this program. And I gave you a little information of what flourishing looks like. And, uh, you know, the psalm writer saw the godly as upright, strong, productive, and unmoved by the winds of circumstance and aging. So, my friend, does that describe you? Would you describe yourself like a cedar of Lebanon? Upright, strong, productive and unmoved by the winds of circumstance and aging? No matter where the winds blow from, no matter how strong the winds may feel, are you immovable? Are you are you grounded in the word? Are you grounded in the Lord to where no one can shake you, no one can uh, break you, You are standing on the word of God. And if I am to quote, and I will quote, one of of, uh, my favorite uh, preachers, he always says, know what you believe, why you believe, and where to find it. And when I think about that quote, I think about what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 14, it speaks of us being no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. So let me just stop it right there. Being carried about with every wind of doctrine. What does that mean to you? Well, I'll tell you what it means to me. It's a fact that there are so many doctrines out there. There are so many beliefs. You know, the old expression is, or it is a fact that you can have uh, two people sitting in the same church, sitting on the same pew, listening to the same preacher, yet both of those people will have their own interpretation of what the Bible says, what the pastor just spoke about, what the preacher just spoke about. There are so many beliefs out there Uh, There are many of you out there, and you may be that person that's listening right now. There are many people out there who are confused because many people are hungry for the truth. They're looking for the truth, but it's so confusing because, well, this person says they have the truth. Well, but no, that person says they have the truth. But no, this one has the truth. Uh, This denomination says they they have the truth. No, this one over here has the truth. And I get it. It could be very confusing from the outside looking in. Again, the person searching for the truth, who has the truth? And we say that, well, the truth is in the Bible, but everybody has their own interpretation of the Bible, right? So all I'm trying to say is stand on what you believe. Know what you believe, why you believe and where to find it. And once again, as the Bible says, not to be like children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Stand on what you believe and when some wind of doctrine uh, blows in your direction, shake it off. Stand on what you believe. This podcast is about proclaiming God's truth. As I said in the beginning, we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions. So I hope that was an encouragement for you. And we're going to move forward in our program. I want to focus on discouragement. Are you discouraged, friend? Is there something that's uh, bothering you that has you up at night? Um, You know, you're sleepless. You know, your sleep is broken. You know, you can't. Uh, make it through the day, whatever it may be, are you discouraged right now? Well, friend, no matter what you're going through, 
God has a remedy. The Bible says in Psalm 31 and 24, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Now I want to share some quotes with you from Ellen G. White concerning those who are discouraged. So that may be you, or it may be someone that you know. If it's not you, and it's someone that you know, I encourage you to share these words with them. Share this, uh, this broadcast with them. Share this episode with them. Encourage them to listen to this particular episode if you know someone who is discouraged right now. This is what author Ellen White has to say about discouragement. She says, when discouragement presses heavily upon you, read the following. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water sprouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night, his song shall be with me and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. That's from Psalm 42, verses 7 through 11. And that's taken from one of her writings called In Heavenly Places 124. She also says, we may be despondent, even despairing. The uh, The heavy cloud of affliction may be over us, but there is light ahead. Beyond the gloom is a sympathetic, compassionate friend, one who does not willingly grieve or afflict the children of men. That's from In Heavenly Places 14. And one more. Walk not in the shadow of the cross. Do not give expression to weeping, lamentation, and woe, but encourage your soul to hope and joy. When you are deeply shadowed, it is because Satan has interposed himself between you and the bright rays of the sun of righteousness. That comes from In Heavenly Places 52. See also Deuteronomy 1 and 21, Joshua 1 and 9, Psalm 27 and 14, as well as Psalm 46, 1 through 3, Psalm 48, verse 14, Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29, as well as John 14 and 1. Again, that's for those who are discouraged. So friend, I pray that that was a blessing to you. If you're discouraged right now, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Take your worries, your anxieties to the Lord in prayer. He is the burden bearer. You do not have to carry this load by yourself. Ask the Holy Spirit to walk with you on your journey, whatever you may be going through right now. Don't continue to be discouraged. Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you once again that we're able to come together for sunset praise. As the sun sets and we prepare to welcome in another Holy Sabbath day, we thank you for what you have done in our lives this past week. We thank you for the troubles that you brought us through, the trials, the tribulations, the turmoil that we faced. We thank you so much for bringing us through on the other side. Now we can put those cares aside. We can put those troubles aside and we can focus on you during this holy time. 
Father, we know that there's going to be times where we're going to have some very challenging situations and we don't know um, how we're going to make it through, but help us to remember to call your name, to call on you, just like the disciples called upon Jesus in that boat when they thought they were going to sink. Help us to remember to call on you so that we don't sink. We ask that you will be the peace in our storm. We can't thank you enough for what you continue to do in our lives. Thank you for what you've done this week. Thank you for what you're doing right now in this moment. And thank you for what you're going to do in the future. But please be with all those who are discouraged right now, who need a word from you, who need a comforting hug from you. Let them know that you are present with them and that you will not forsake them. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, I thank you once again, as always, for joining me here on Sunset Praise. As the sun uh, continues to set, I pray that you were blessed by this episode of Sunset Praise. I pray that you have a blessed Sabbath, uh, that you have a blessed weekend. May the Lord be with you. And by God's grace, please join me once again next Friday at sunset for another edition of Sunset Praise right here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions. And we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. I am your host, Pastor Vince Wilson. I am the founding pastor and teacher here at Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. So once again, happy Sabbath. Be blessed. And by God's grace, we'll be back together next Friday at sunset. Take care.